for us now is County Pillage Treasurer State. Thank you, thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Connie Pillage. I'm running for Treasurer of Ohio. I'm challenging Josh Mandel for that seat, and I am thrilled to be back to visit the Black Women's Pack. Saw you in the spring. We had a lot of fun singing. Great time. <laughs> uh, luckily, I don't sing much, but I won't do it today. I am running for treasurer because, well, for crying out loud, we absolutely need someone to fight for us in, in Columbus. I bring great professional credentials. Started my professional life in the military, eight years active duty, and I got out when I was a captain. While I was on uh, active duty, I got my MBA. After my children were born, I cracked, uh, graduated from law school, practiced about 13 years, including banking law. Excellent credentials to bring to the treasurer's office. I currently serve in the state legislature. I want a Republican seat in the suburbs of Cincinnati. And by the way, I'm a Democrat. All of these experiences shape me very strongly. In the military, I learned there's not a Democratic way or Republican way of doing things. There's just the right way. I've brought that approach to everything I've done. It's clearly needed in the treasurer's office an office that's been plagued with political problems for over a decade. Thank you, Madam Time. <laughs> the question is, pension funding can be a financial challenge. Under what circumstances, if any, should a vessel of pension funds occur? Thank you very much for that question because the treasurer does oversee all the public pensions in Ohio. Every teacher, firefighter, city worker, county worker, that's your pension. The treasurer's duty, three, one is to appoint people to the pension board. They set the investment policy, so a great influence there. Uh, number two, the treasurer is the custodian of the money. And in doing so, the treasurer has to choose the bank and negotiate the bank fees. Under Josh Mandel's leadership, he's moved a lot of these pension funds around. Uh, under his leadership, when he moved the international investments for our state's largest pension system, OPRS, but the annual fees went from 630000 a year to, uh, well, just for the first seven months of this year, over $2 million already. That's a crazy, crazy, unqualified decision. As an MBA, I have an eye for detail. I know, an, I know how to do an analysis, and I know that you only make good decisions if you have good data. Either there was no cost-benefit analysis done when this decision was made, or if there was one, it was done badly. They're both are both bad situations. I will bring to you my commitment to making sure every decision I make is for the long-term health, stability, solvency for that pension. Because people have paid into this for 30, 40 years every paycheck. 1.8 million Ohioans and their families rely on these, these pensions. That's my commitment to you. Thank you. That's it. OK, thank you very much. <laughs> I can't be taught as well. Office is the most important office that nobody knows about. The treasurer safeguards your money. There's not a Democratic way or Republican way of safeguarding your money. There's the right way. I bring the professional commitment, the professional skills and training that we need in that treasurer's office. I would very much love to have your support. Thank you for this.